So this is an update uh, on Nasdaq and US USDT. So I'll start with Nasdaq on the weekly chart. And then we had like an overall push to the downside. And then we're currently at this area around here for continuations to the downside up until like this low here. So basically what I'll be looking at, it's this area around let me just remove this so i'll be looking at this area here as my highest point on the weekly and then this would be like the highest high and the low overall low would be this one here and then i'd be having an a descending channel of this nature like this and then going to the daily chart that is where I'll be looking for a clear movement just because we have like a corrective price again at this stage. Yeah, and then another inflection point that I can use like it's this one here and this one at the top of the structure. And then I can just redo like my analysis at this point and then just remove like the three line here so that I can just focus on this part here. And then on the four hour, So on the four hour, I'm only focusing like on the current market structure of which is this one here. And then we have like some type of a ascending channel. And then this is the ascending channel. And then I can just put like a ray line here as an override. And then already price has tapped like that override two times. So I think we can just push to the upside and then get, get maybe like at that touch before we can decide to push back to the downside or to the upside so let me just remove that then let me just remove those drawings and then on the hour chart and then let me just cater for this price action at this point here yeah and also at this point around here That's just because I think this is the 90% rule of this overall pattern around here. So we can get like a slow mover up until the 90% rule. And then that is when we can look for those selling opportunities on the lower time frame, which is the hour. So let's switch to the hour chart. So on the hour chart, currently we are at this point. And then I'll be only looking for a push to the upside up until this point and then we get like a convincing price action that will show us that we have like an impulsive move and then maybe a first tight flag or we can get like entries like on the golden zone just because we can just wait for that uh, rejection and then switch to a lower time frame of which is the m15 or the m5 and then we can get like an early entry or a refined entry like on the five minute and then i think we can just wait for that move up until this point and then we can decide if we get like selling opportunities and then if we break structure still we can just wait up until the 90 percent rule and then we can decide from there just because this is a high value area that we can use in our favor so let's look at usdt so usdt i'll start like on the weekly chart also let me just refresh the charts so on US date here on the weekly and then it's already showing signs of uh cells just because we are at the top of the structure and then we have like this high also and then the lower point is this one here and then if you draw out like the overall structure at this point here we broke structure we broke structure but we are currently at that double top area of which is this one here so we can get like uh, those nice sauce and then catering for the lows also like this and then on the daily so on the daily we have like a clear uh, movement or a clear price action showing us that we can get like selling opportunities just because the movement around this point here is very corrective and then we are already at the double top in a form of an ascending channel and then we get like a 
push to the downside so let's switch to a for our chart and just check for that momentum very clearly so for the momentum currently we have a clear momentum to the downside just because those impulses are showing signs that they will continue up until the slow point here so i think this is an overall ascending a push to the downside this is the first tight flag or the larger flag we can check that out like maybe on the hour so let me just remove that and then clearly draw out like the ascending channel that we have and maybe we can get like a pattern within a pattern on the lower time frame and then you can just put also like the 90 percent rule at this point here and then on the hour let me check the hour so on the hour as i said we can get like pattern within patterns so we have like a pattern but then a pattern at this point here and let me just put them correctly around here and then we had like a double top over right around this point here let me just remove it and put another one so we had like an over right double top around there and then we had like that musicology activation around this point here so now we broke structure let me just do this so now we broke structure at this point here in a form of a uh, tight flag around here which could have been like an entry and then let me just remove this one here so we are currently at this day, at this point here let me just do this so we are currently at this pattern here so what i'm currently thinking is that we can get like a larger flag and then this could be like the inflection point that we can use just because we can get like a slow mover up until that double top and then we get like two saws from here to here and then another scenario that i'm having would be like using like these highs here these three highs here but i won't put them like that just because we are currently focusing on this one here so that i don't get confused i'm just going to focus like on this one here